So you want to be more productive, more motivated, right? So let me give you two examples. We got Jeffrey in one hand. Jeffrey, he wakes up. First thing he does, grabs his phone, starts scrolling through social media, through TikTok, through Instagram, through Facebook, whatever. He, he already done killed 30, 40, 50 minutes. And he still hasn't got off his bed. He still hasn't got out of his bed, right? He manages to get enough motivation to get up. He goes to the restroom, rubs one off, goes on, on, watches porn or whatever, rubs one off. He already lost his energy. He threw his masculine energy down the drain, right? We got Adonis on the other hand. Adonis knows he's a disciplined individual. He wakes up, he knows what he has to get done. He gets... He gets up, he, he does his morning routine, he meditates, he says his affirmations, his daily affirmations, he, he reads every morning, he, he knows the task he has to get done in order to be a successful day, right? So you will choose who do you want to be. You want to be a Jeffrey or you want to be a, you want to be Adonis, right? I used to struggle a lot with being productive or, or getting motivated to, to get, be, have a successful day, right? Uh, I would, I would wake up just, just like Jeffrey. I would wake up. And I would want to be productive. I would wake up, start scrolling. Next, I didn't know how long I would wake up. Nine o'clock, let's say. Next, you know, it was ten, ten twenty. I already done killed an hour and twenty minutes scrolling. Like time just flew. That went, and then once I got enough motivation, I didn't. Once I got enough motivation to get up, I, I didn't want to do. I don't want to be productive anymore. I would find it hard to. Get my task I needed to get done for the day hard. I, I would find it very hard. But, and I wish, I would always tell myself, oh, I'll, I'll, I'll get that done tomorrow. Tomorrow and tomorrow, I would try every day and fail. I would try every day and fail. And I will, I got to a point, I got over that, right? I started becoming more productive and more motivated to do stuff. I will share my story and I will show y'all what has helped me be more productive, right? So I believe everybody has to have a a morning routine, right? Or, or get into a routine of that you do every morning, get habits down, get good habits, get rid of the bad ones. For example, me, I wake up, I wake up every morning. I always, I always wake up early, right? When I go to work, I, I'll be waking up as early as 4, 3.30 in the morning, right? Or when I don't go work, I still try to manage to wake up early. I wake up 6 a.m. latest, 7 a.m. I, I still know what I need to get done for the day, right? To be productive. So I wake up. When you wake up, first thing you should do, you should never touch your phone. Nowadays, we live in an era where it's engraved into our subconscious. First thing we do, grab our phone, right? We live in that era now where first thing you do, you're like a monkey. You, you don't even think how you don't even have to think about it. What you do when you when you're you're a little bored, you grab your phone, right? So that's the type of era we live in, and we got to get rid of that bad habit. That's a very bad habit. When the first thing you do, you wake up and you get on your phone. Instead of the first thing you should do, you should get up, open the curtains, get some of that daylight, sunlight to open up your eyes. That, that's good for you. It will motivate you. It will help you more instead of instead of getting your phone and getting that blue light. We're, na we're, we're nature beings like we connect to nature at some point in some way or another. Right. So whenever you get that natural sunlight, it actually motivates you to do something. You get up, you open that curtain, you get that natural Sunlight, it, it, it motivates you to get stuff done. And not only that, you pick up your phone, you start scrolling, time, you're killing time right there. That's, you starting off the day wrong by being, not being productive. So you start the day not being productive, that's an L right there. And, and it's harder to get back from an L than it is from getting another W once you have a W already accumulated, right? So... Compound those wins. Stack them wins up. The more wins you stack up, the more you will be more productive. You'll start winning naturally. You'll start doing more 
productive work. On the other hand, if you start product, if you start stacking up them L's, it will be harder to be more productive because all you you are used to stacking all them L's, waking up late, hitting the snooze button, first thing, use your phone. You start 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 stacking them L's. Those will get to you, and you will become less productive. So first thing you do, don't use your phone. Don't get none of that phone screen for at least my rule, at least the first hour of your day. Some people might need to extend it more so they could be more productive, right? But first thing you do, don't don't get your phone. If you have to buy a regular alarm clock, buy it and use that to wake you up. Don't use your phone. Put the phone in another room or something. Just discipline yourself. Be a disciplined individual. You want to live like you want to live like that for the rest of your life? No, you gotta change. You gotta change certain habits to be more productive, to be more disciplined. You want to be that disciplined man. You want to be that. You want to be that Adonis we're talking about, right? So, a big, big hack that I think works for me. I don't eat until I got all my big tasks complete. I don't. Eat, I don't eat breakfast. I. I. At first, I was against this, right? Because I, you, you always hear people, oh, breakfast is the most important meal of the day. You hear that a lot, right? You, It's been implemented into us since we were young. Uh, breakfast is the most important meal of the day. You can't skip breakfast. Th look, I'm just telling you what has worked for me, right? I'm not telling you to do this to be productive. Whatever works for you, works for you. What, what could work different for me may not work for you. But this is what has worked for me. I don't eat until I've gotten all my... Big task complete. And I feel like I'm more productive like that. The only thing I eat in the morning is coffee and water. And I feel I feel more productive. I feel like I want to shit get I want to get shit done like that. That's has helped me. Don't eat. And if you're gonna eat, don't eat large meals with high carbs. If you want, if you need to eat something, eat something small. Eat eat something with Drink a protein shake in the morning or something. Drink, uh, eat some nuts. They're good for your testosterone. Some make it a small meals, and once you have completed those tasks, reward yourself with a with a good meal. That's how I. That's how I do it, right? So, I run off with coffee and water in the mornings, and I go when I go in the when I have chance to go in the. Gym to, in the mornings, th that's how I do it, right? Sometimes, I mean, obviously, sometimes I work and I can't go in the mornings. I'll go in the afternoons. That's a different story. It just comes down to your personal preferences, right? So when I don't go, when I don't work, let's say I'm off of that day, I wake up, I drink me coffee, I drink me some water and go to the gym. That that right there, I'm, I'm being productive already, right? I'm, I'm getting my sense. I feel good. I feel like this that sense of being hungry, it's kind of like... A, some type of it somewhere has to be somewhere primal right i'm not really big into like oh this study says this or this study says that right no i like to actually experience it and, and, sh and tell you from my experience so that really works for me once i get all my tasks complete okay then i can eat a good meal right that's why i wake up early i probably don't be having lunch till or breakfast till 11 11 earliest 12 the other day i had a lot of stuff to do I didn't eat my first meal. It wasn't until like two, two thirty, in the afternoon, right? So I mean, that's just me. I don't. I'm not telling you to go starve yourself or nothing, but that's just me. Another thing is get your biggest task out first. Do that the first thing. That do that as your first task. They're just saying like eat, eat the biggest frog first, right? So eat the, whatever you're despising to do that day, do it first. That right there will stack yourself a W that would lead to more Ws, lead you to be more productive. Don't leave it to the la last minute because they will fuck you up mentally too. For the reason is that, oh, let me get these little small tasks complete first. And while you complete them tasks, you're still thinking in your head, ah, oh, I still got to do that once I get finished with all these tasks. So I believe that messes you up mentally. So what I think, get that big task, the thing that you hate, done first. Because once you're once you're done with it, you're done with it. And now you just have to focus on the other small task. 
it's a domino effect. It will just go down by itself. Where if you start in them small tasks and you leave the hardest task task to the end, you while you're doing them small tasks, your head is gonna be thinking, "Ah, oh, I still gotta, I still gotta complete that task when I once I'm done with this one." No, it's not. Uh, it's how our head clear. We 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 perform better like that. At least that's how I perform 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 better like that. So get the best biggest task done first, and then the other was follow it right. So that's just a couple of tips that has helped me. I hope it helps you as well. And like always, let's stay on the grind.